getting ready for another light heavyweight affair. Cesar Mutanche Fajera welcomes Nick Rorick to the PFL. Both of these guys are newcomers, and Nick Rorick is the newcomer to the big show. He's got 10 fights in his mixed martial arts career. This is by far the biggest stage he's had to compete on, Randy Couture. Absolutely true. He says he's up for this. He feels like he's prepared. He's got two submissions, two knockouts in his career. Uh, <laughs> unique opportunity for him with the PFL, and he's going to take advantage of it for sure. Yeah, doesn't have as much experience uh, as Cesar Mutanchi Fajeda. But uh, he is surrounded by a lot of experience and a lot of talent, both by the guys that he trains with and the coaches that he works with, Dwayne Bang Ludwig and Elevation Fight Team. They come from some very highly regarded coaches, guys. And if our first fight of the evening is any indication, not having an overly impressive resume doesn't mean a lot. It absolutely doesn't mean a lot. That's one of the things I love about this format. There's so many variables. We've got 22 countries represented. There's a lot of guys that nobody knows a lot about, and they can come out and do some pretty amazing things. It's fun to watch. Emiliano Sordi was a relative unknown when he joined the PFL. Ray Cooper III was a relative unknown when he joined the PFL. Those guys are big stars. Nathan Schultz. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> right. there's a bunch of examples. And this guy, Cesar Mutanchi Ferreira, if you didn't know, Mutanchi, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but it Mutante. translates It translates to the mutant, and you can probably <laughs> you see why it. they call him that. And it's amazing looking at him right now. How did he make 185 pounds? He looks massive. I have no idea. When I was <laughs> training with him in training camp, he was 220. Wow. And, and has this amazing style, these great kicks. Watch out for some of the kicks that this guy throws. And just his straight teeth, his front kick, is pretty devastating. I had to wear some extra padding on my ribs because we knew Leota was going to throw front kicks. Right. And he was throwing a lot of front kicks, and I was like, man, you were going to tear me up. <laughs> you know, one thing I'm, I'm actually happy to see becoming more of a norm in our sports, guys who make these really drastic cuts, particularly this size of guy, who yeah. competed at 185 pounds, and they would kill themselves to make it to middleweight. They're now coming back up, especially in their latter years, to be normal, to have health and size and strength coming into a fight. And we've seen people with incredible success after making the transition to the higher weight class. Agree 100%. You're going to see their best self tonight. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape between these two light heavyweights. Rorick, three years younger, one inch taller. But it's Cesar Ferreira who's got the longer reach in the arms and the legs. Three inches plus in both of those categories. Lillian Garcia starts them off. Ladies and gentlemen, the PFL Smart Cage is where all the action takes place. And it is state-of-the-art technology only seen here in the PFL. And now it is time to take you back to that cage in the light heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is a wrestler who stands at 6'2 and weighs in officially at 205 and one half pounds. In 10 professional fights, he has a record of nine wins with only one loss. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, here is Nick Roaring! His opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he specializes in Capoeira. Standing at 6'1", he officially weighs in at 205 and one half pounds. In 21 professional bouts, he has a record of 13 wins with eight losses. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, and representing Brazil, here is Cesar Mutante Ferreira! Your referee in charge, Vitor Shellen. Our second regular season fight in the light heavyweight division. Remember, earlier tonight on Plus, Martin Hamlet scored five points in his PFL debut. A first round finish would slide one of these gentlemen past Martin Hamlet to first place in the regular season standings. PFL MMA, the only true league in mixed martial arts. Regular season playoffs and a championship. Fajera in the gold trunks, Nick Rorick out of Colorado in the black and gray. Fajera, the southpaw stance. Recognize that footwork at all? That looks so much like Leona Machida, it's crazy. 
He moves his hips the same way, moves his feet the same way. Yeah, and that's the kick you got to watch out for, that rear kick. Oh, and an accommodation oh, right away. Fajeda firing. Oh! Cesar Mutace puts Nick Rorick out. Six points for the Mutant. Wow. It all started with that rear kick to the body. That hurt Nick. It backed him up. And then it was all hands from Fajeda. My goodness. Wow. Looks to be very energized, full of energy. At 205, I think this is a very smart move for Cesar. You can't question whether the power was going to translate wow. to the light heavyweight division after that performance. He landed early, he landed often, and it was, once again, nasty straight rights. We saw that a week ago from Brendan Lachmane, put down Shimon Moraes. This time, it was the Brazilian who was victorious with the nasty right hand. You heard the grunt there on that kick, Randy. Excuse me, it's the left hand. The straight left. Goodness gracious. That was a blaze. What a Tasmanian devil coming at you. Holy cow. Did he miss any of those strikes? I don't think he did. Here's that front kick from the back leg. And he digs it in hard. Measuring. Oh and you can see that right hook kept bringing him right into that left hand every single time. He couldn't escape to the right, he couldn't escape to the left. Cesar Fajeda cut off the cage beautifully. No escape for Nick Rorick. Stayed, wow. Stayed at distance, didn't smother, didn't get too excited. That's a veteran, that's some experience right there. Goodness gracious, the power on display. It wasn't about the volume, it was about the accuracy and the power in our Cajunomics Stats Bundle presented by Geico. Cesar Fajera makes a statement in his light heavyweight VFL debut. Lillian Garcia makes it official. Ladies and gentlemen, the stoppage comes officially at 37 seconds of round number one. Your winner by knockout and earning six points in the light heavyweight division, Cesar Vichera!